All right, <laughs> we are headed to the Squanacook River. <laughs> Is that how you say it? Squanacook. Squanacook. The Squanny. 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 Hitting the Squanny. 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 All right, that's a true angler right there. He's got his net clip. He's got his bag on his front of himself. That's not a backpack, that's a front pack. And he's got his, his scale. He's got his weapons of choice, which I shouldn't even be telling him. He's gonna fucking claw me away from that. Uh, he's, got his, he's got his rods. He's ready. He's got my rod up there. Uh, here we go. Security cameras in use, so uh, everybody Everybody be cautious See if I can just... of what they're doing. Look at that, dude. <laughs> That's so fucking <laughs> rad! I didn't think that was gonna work. Is it gonna hit me though in the I face? I got that. Watch out. Uh, hold on, hold on. I'll get over here. Sure <laughs> Don't forget that breakfast sandwich in case you get hungry. Oh, look at this. So when I get back, I'm oh. gonna fucking... <laughs> Alright. So I just got the new St. Croix rod. It's got the camo edition bark tree bark with moss handle limited edition super hard to come by getting that march tan going <laughs> that march turn okay. yep and like right here uh -huh. along the banks see how deep it is like uh -huh. right there it's very deep and then right there in front of this tree the big Let's patch put the camera Moving kind of fast today, so it's a little tough to spot them because of the top. Can you? Do, I don't know if the camera can see through that. Oh yeah, I think it can. But that's the big patch where they all are. I, I've always been trying to cast like in front of that bush right there, like pass it so you drift deep down over that whole gravel area and there. Bring it in this And way. then even if they don't hit it there, there's a couple of patches here where they always you see them coming across. Cool. Even right in front of us, like this, this must be a deep under. There could be under egg. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I but, can see under this. But bush. it's hard because as you can see, because you yeah, get three feet right. of pricker bush when yeah, you hook you one, you gotta not. hold them out. So serious. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We got Mike's top secret rig here. It's a egg on a hook. Oh yeah. It's not top secret. Lots of people do that. Four split shots is his secret though. Yep, all day, all day. Now just reel up your slack as that comes in. Almost don't even pop that until it gets a little further. You need the net? Coming, coming, coming. All right. First fish. Oh yeah, this is a good spot. I didn't even walk down here yet. Want me to do it? Oh, I don't want to go in. <laughs> oh no, I'm wow. already down here. Ooh, take ride, that's take a nice ride. fish. Oh, yeah. All right. Put the camera down. Oh. You got him? Yeah. Wow, dude, that's a nice fish. Nice, nice fucking. Nice. They're one. all this size. It's so beautiful. <laughs> watched it eat it, dude. I was like, it's a I just bear. watched it eat it. I was just holding it in the water. <laughs> yeah, baby. I just, oh, I just sight fished for this guy. Fuck yeah. yeah. Yes. Nice, nice. How did you handle? Yes. In the hole again. Fell in that fucking hole. Film the hole for a fucking second. Fuck, fuck, see this death hole fuck that hole. Fuck that hole. Dude. That was nice. awesome. I watched him eat it. It was like, look at that hook set. On the eggs, Mike's. One. Mike's eggs, dude. Mike's UV glow eggs. Oh, Mike's eggs. We're fishing with Mike and we're using Mike's eggs. <laughs> yeah, so I was fishing with Mike down at the Squanee. Yeah, buddy. All right, here we are, back in the action. And we have gotten back to the house, and we're now cutting this fish open. So Mike's using my new Gerber fillet knife here. How's it working? Pretty nice. Is it pretty sharp? Yeah, and a, cool. a new knife is so always good. I've never actually done this like fully myself. Every time I've done it, I've been doing it with other people who have just known how to do it, and they kind of just did it. So it's kind of cool to watch and film, and that's kind of why we're making this video, too, for other people who want to know how to do this. 
So this is the first one, and we're gonna uh, start from scratch on the next one. Okay, John is already getting this going. What do you got in there? Garlic butter. We got garlic butter going. She's got the pan ready. She's got this wax thing under the foil. She is on it. She's got the asparagus going. She's got the garlic going. She's got the peppers going. And now Mike is going to show us how to got and fillet these motherfucking trout. All right. So we already did a couple, as you can see. So where do you start? Right in the uh, the old hole there, the other uh, southern hole. Just kind of nice and gingerly stick the tip in there. <laughs> and uh, you want to just kind of flick it up. You might get a little bit of blood. You want to do your best not to poke the organs. But uh, the initial puncture is kind of inevitable. You're going to get a little bit, so just keep going. <laughs> That's the biggest one, I think. Or was the last one? Um, I don't know. They're, like I said, they're like all like... One and a half, almost. They're all like within a... One of them was almost a pound and a half. Inch and a half of each other. Come on. I'm missing a piece right, right there. You're yelling at me to speed up. I'm there the one holding a camera go. and a light. There we go. Okay, now... I gotta get a camera with a light on it. And a microphone would be cool. I guess the new GoPros have a wild microphone. And the stability. They already came out with a new one. Yeah, uh, the seven. I have a five, so I'm behind. Well, they're right up there with fucking iPhones now. Huh? So, as you can see, he's worked his way up with the tip of the knife towards the head, towards the gills, and he's getting it open just enough so that he can pull all of these guts out. But we don't need to go into too much detail about the anatomy of the guts in this video. Yeah, take it because over. Because that's not too important for what we're doing here. Oh, it's a little too far forward. Shit. I come I go back a little bit? There we go. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, I cut something. Shit. So, you can see he made this extra slit there. And that just makes it easier. Get it up that way. I don't know if he actually did that on purpose or not. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. But we'll see how many people. No, it just will, needed uh, the mic. I need to be a little bit far back. Uh, so, so it just wasn't in the right spot. So now that I have but the it head good, it separated, right? you want to take it and pull all the guts back, just like that. And Get them all out with the, the head. Tail. We're gonna the go, head. The trash. go right over to the trash. Bing bang boom. Away from the trash. And no. that's what we're left with. So we have three of those right now. No, we haven't we're gonna go, any of those we're gonna yet. Go right so we're going to shut in. the camera down for a moment, and oh. we'll be right back. <laughs> All right, so we've got our cutting board here, and we're going to put some paper towels down. And that's a little trick that Mike is uh, suggesting because it keeps the fish from slipping around. Yeah, it holds the fish a little bit better. A regular towel works just the same. But... Same thing, everybody does this differently, but I like to make a slice on the top from the top and all the way down this line here so you can work each side independently. You can see the end of the fish here. It goes down to this line right there. So now that we have it like that, what you do is, well, actually, okay, so I lied. You want to come back here? Because you want your knife, when you're filleting this, to ride alongside this fin. I like to make a cut on each side of the fin. So you almost make, like, a junction to where you made your first cut right there. My finger was in a bad spot there. That's really dangerous, by the way. Don't do that. Yeah, safety. <laughs> but... We'll have another video. Our next video will be on knife safety. Knife safety. Especially because this is a brand new knife and a fillet knife at that. So what you want to do is you want to start making your cut down to the rib bones right there. And you really want to put downward pressure with the knife as you move backwards. Because that helps it ride along the bones as it goes down the fish. So I'm literally going to, I'm pressing down. Ooh, I'm going to go back a little bit because I missed something there. But pressing down along the ribs. This is a new knife too. So this might actually cut through some of those bones because the trap bones are really small. Most likely going to cut through some of those bones, but 
And then you literally just go all the way down the finish, just like that, bam. Boom, filet, right there. All right, so the oven's set at 375. John and I went ahead and made this here uh, melted butter medley with some different stuff in there, some garlic and some parsley and whatnot. We've got this pan here ready. She's gone ahead, sliced up some lemons. All right, so we weighed this and he took some off, but it was uh, one pound, 10 ounces total. And I got a photo of it, so it'll be on my Instagram. Um, yeah, so he's gonna prep these for getting them ready to cook and uh, yeah, we're gonna get them in the oven and how long are we gonna leave them in there? 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes. Just got a nice ro extra row over Look at that there. sunset out there behind you. All right, so we're just gonna cook three of these tonight because there's only three of us here and we're gonna put the other three in the fridge for another meal. We're gonna maybe cook them a different way and if we do, we can film that later. Might air fry some of them later. We can save the broccoli for the next meal. We could do air fried ones with broccoli or something tomorrow. Would be cool. All right, so we're gonna get these all prepped. We're gonna put three of them in the freezer. We're getting them going on the tray here. All right, so here we are. We've got some lemons on there. Are you gonna put other lemons in there with it? Along the edges maybe? No, I'm just gonna roll it up. Cool. All right, looks good. Might as well. Yeah, they're sliced. Get them in there. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so let's watch those crash this pocket ever so gracefully. Oh, yeah. There's a, there's a uh, skill to this that you really just have to master. Okay, a mere 15 minutes. Thanks to Jana for helping us out with the recipe. Got some asparagus here, some peppers. Mike's ready to dig in. Fuck yes, here we go. 